Good day everyone, this is Yasi Faye Groof and this is our presentation. In today's presentation, we are going to observe and to know the different step and procedure in order for us to solve a problem. So be with us as we unveil and discover what are the possible answer to the question that has been given to us. So shall we start? In this presentation, we have a two-problem question, which are the problem number one, the examination scores, and problem number two, the famous puzzle. And now we are going to proceed in answering the problem number one, which is the examination scores. Examination scores. On two examination, Dana receives scores of 82, 91, and 76. What does Dana need on the fourth examination to raise his average to 85? So, in order for us to solve this problem, it is necessary for us to comprehend very well on this problem to know the operation or the given that has been in the problem. So, first thing first, or the first step that we needed to do is to understand the problem. So, Dana has taken three exams with scores of 82, 91, and 76. He wants to have an average of 85 after four exams. We need to find out what score he needs on the fourth exam to achieve this. So, it is important for us to know or comprehend very well in the said problem. For us to know what are the possible solution, what are the possible operation, or what is the given that has been given on the problem. So, as we able to understand the problem, we are now going to the second step, which is to add the score of the first three exam. So, as I said a while ago, why we need to know or to understand the problem very well because we needed to know what are the possible operation we needed to use. So in today's step, we are going to to use a operation of addition. So add your exam to get the total exam scores. So we are going to add the exam scores of Dana, which is 82, 91, and 76. And all in all, it will be equal to 2. 49. So we are going to set aside this 49 question. So remember the 249 carefully, yeah, the 249 answer. So we're going to use it until the next steps. So for the, for the third step, we needed to calculate the score needed for the average of 85. So a while ago, we used the operation of addition. Now we are going to use the operation of multiplication. So multiply the desired average score by the number of exams. So what is the desired average score of Dana? It is 85, right? And he is going to attempt a fourth examination. So that is when we get 2 times the 85 to 4. 4 stands for the number of examination Dana wanted to attempt. So 85 times 4 is equals to 340. So we're going to set it aside. So remember this number carefully, 340. So now we are going to the fourth step. First step is subtract the total score to the desired total score. So this is we're going to apply all of those numbers that we have solved a while ago. So we use the addition and, sub and multiplication and now we are going to use the subtraction. So we are going to subtract the total scores of Dana, which is 249, and the desired total score of Dana, which is 360. So we're going to subtract these two to get the answer, which is 91. So in order for Dana to get to get a average score of 85, he needed to gain at least 91 score on his fourth examination. And for the, our last step, check the solution. So if Dana scores 91, which we have solved a while ago, on her fourth exam, his total score will be 340 and her average will be 
340 over 4 is equals to 85, which means that 91 should be, must be his score on his fourth exam in order for him to gain a 85, uh, an average of 85. So 82 plus 91 plus 76 plus 91, which he needed to go, the score of 91 is equals to 340. So 340 over 4, 4 stands for the number of exam that I wanted to attempt and that will be equal to 85. So that's it. That is how we solve the problem number one. So I hope you listen to it very well and very carefully. And now we are going to proceed to the next question. So for the next question, famous puzzle. A rancher needs to get a dog, a rabbit, and a basket of carrots across the river. The rancher has a small boat that will only stay afloat, carrying the rancher and one of the crickets or the rancher and the carrots. The rancher cannot leave the dog alone with the rabbit because the dog might eat the rabbit. The rancher cannot leave the rabbit alone with the carrot because the rabbit can also eat the carrots. How can rancher get across the river with the critters and the carrots? So this one is one of the most famous puzzle that I have heard. So now we're going to answer it. So we're now going to proceed to the, to the first step, which is, okay, identify or understand the problem. So the first step is to understand the problem. In this case, the rancher needs to get a dog, a rabbit, and a basket of carrots across a river. The boat can only carry the rancher and, and one other item. The dog can be left alone with the rabbit and the rabbit can be left alone with the carrot. So it is necessary for us to comprehend to the question very well, for us to know what are the important aspects that has been said to the said problem. So it said here na that the dog cannot live with rabbit because dog might eat the rabbit. And same as the rabbit, the rabbit cannot be lived with carrot because the rabbit might eat the carrot. So as we able to understand or identify the problem, we are now going to the next step, which is to plan your moves. So in order for you, in order for us to solve this problem, we needed to plan our moves that 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 we could do in order for Rancher to not have so much problem in going across the river so think about the order in which you can move the items the key is to never leave the dog alone with the rabbit or the rabbit alone with the carrot so always remember that this one is the most important thing that we needed to understand or to remember because of the question a while ago it is said that we can never leave the dog alone with the rabbit or the rabbit alone with the carrot. So in order for us to plan our moves, we need to understand or to take a great crucial point to this key point. So as we plan your, our moves, we are now going to proceed to the next question, to the next procedure, which is to execute the plan. So here is the possible solution. So move number one, in order for rancher to take everything across the river, this is this one should be the one he could execute without having any problem or without having any trouble. So with the rabbit or the ra or the dog or the carrots. So move number one is take the rabbit across the river. So so in this step you are going to leave the dog and the carrots behind since there will be nothing happen with the dog and carrots if you left them behind right so you're going to take the carrot the rabbit rather on the across the 
river. So after you put the rabbit across the river, you are going the rancher are going to return alone to the original site which were the carrots and the dog. So the rancher are going to le to left the the rabbit on the other side. So as the rancher are able to get to the original side, he is now going to take the dog across the river. So what will happen if the dog will go across the river and the rabbit was in there? So might as well he will go in to eat the river, right? The the rabbit, right? So so before the rancher leave the dog, he is now going to take the rabbit with him going to the original side. So he will not going to left the rabbit with the dog. So he going to get the rabbit with him go to the original side. So for the move number five, the rancher now are going to left the rabbit on the original side and take the carrot with him to go to the to go across the river. So he's going now he is now going to take the carrot with him across the river, leaving the carrots and dog with each other across the river so that the rabbit on the original side are going to be left alone. So after the rancher are able to get or to get the carrots on the across the river, he is now going to get to return alone to the original side one last time to get the rabbit. So when we go when we get the rabbit on the original side and go it to across the the river now all three items such as the dog the rabbit and the carrots are now safely on the other side of the river and that is how we are able to execute and we are able to know the answer to this problem and for the last step check your solution in this case, the dog was never left alone with the rabbit and the rabbit was never left alone with the carrot. So that is how we are able to gain the answer to the question. So I hope you are able to learn from us and I hope you are able to listen to it very carefully. So thank you and have a great day. Thank you everyone.